Well, as kids, there wasn't anything as fun as running through a big old mud puddle, but it appears it's equally as fun as an adult. The first annual mud run for Thunder Bay was held at Fort William Historical Park. TPT's Mike Albanese was there to get all the dirt. It's fun to get dirty and... Nothing like a mud run. 46 years old and I'm doing it! You heard it right. There is nothing like a mud run. I think they're the new trend, you know, it's a lot of fun, it's something different, it's not just running around a 5k or a 10k or a half marathon or a marathon, you actually have obstacles and you're doing it with the camaraderie of friends and people around you, so I think that's what adds to the excitement and it just adds something maybe else off to your bucket list if you're a racer to be able to accomplish that and that we have it here locally, that's something really important is that we've never had mud runs here before. The first ever mud run held at the fort will forever be remembered in the minds of those who attended and in the stains left on the clothes. Trust me, I'm glad I left my nice clothes at home. Not even the reporters were safe. The whole event is designed to raise money for Special Olympics, and they did just that. With over 400 participants, they raised $70,000. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, year one for us here, and uh, Charlotte or organizers done just a phenomenal job. And couldn't have asked for better weather, and uh, I think everybody's having fun. The Ontario Law Enforcement Torch Run, we're the major fundraiser, so we do everything from barbecues, golf tournaments, to events like this. Uh, last year we raised $1.8 million for Special Olympics, so it's a, it's a huge, huge amount of money that, um, quite frankly, without a Special Olympics, wouldn't be able to operate. Now into the actual race, the estimated time the organizers gave for the fastest finish was 45 minutes. Well, some participants threw that guess in the mud and trampled all over over it. Daniel Howells finished in half an hour. With running, swimming, climbing and sliding, he truly got in the down and dirty spirit. It was very fun. Um, some of the obstacles are very challenging. I'm going to be surprised to see uh, who gets over what. <laughs> yeah. Um, some of the funner ones was, I don't know their names, but there's one that's a big T. It's eight foot. You got to get jump up to it, pull yourself over, flip, and then you got to do it twice. So... And then the water's always interesting as you're sweating it to death and jump into freezing cold water, which is a nice, nice break. On top of the solo runs, there was team runs and free runs. No matter what category you ran in, though, you were always competing mainly against the big muddy obstacles in your way. It was really fun. The obstacles were put together really, really well. Um, there was quite a bit of running we weren't so prepared for, but the obstacles were a blast. We made it over all of them. Teamwork, teamwork. That's what we do at Unleashed Fighting Fitness. Teamwork. The weather was beautiful and the day was a complete success, according to organizers. They hope they can continue to support Special Olympics with a mud run next year as well. Mike Albanese, TBT News.